welcome back to our Ultimate Discord bot course. And I'm going to start changing a few things in this episode from the stuff that we have done in the last episode. Let's uh, quickly remove the user guesses list over here and there. Save this. And now our hangman game should work again. So let's quickly try this out. We know it is Discord, but let's say, okay, I have a D and a C. Okay, perfect. Now, uh, another issue that we didn't look into in the last episode, but I wanted to highlight it and stress it because we're also going to tackle this in this episode, is when another user, in this case, Aris, you can't see it on the screen right now, but if another user now also checks for, let's say, O, we can see, well, for Aris, the guesses are also A, D, C, and O. And that means that we both play on the same word right now. That is not something that we want to do with Hangman. We have another game in mind where we learn about other stuff as well. But for Hangman, we really just want it to be an instance for only the for, for each user, right? So we don't want to play with multiple multiple people on the same Hangman game. And we mentioned that we're gonna move over to a more model view controller uh, structure for our Hangman, and that's what we're gonna do now. Let's start by creating a new module, and let's call it Hangman. Now, we also need the init pi. Quickly close that, and we're going to create our model file. Now, in here, we're going to simply create a class and call that Hangman. Now, we know from our previous code, let me put the previous code on the right hand side and have hangman here in our model on the left hand side let me make this a bit bigger and now you should see it much better so we know that we have a word that we want to guess we have the user guesses and we have a progress word somewhere here right where our logic is and Let's start by creating the hangman attributes. So we say, okay, we have a word, we're gonna set it to nothing, so empty, and we have our progress word, that is also empty. And we're gonna have our guesses, which is an empty list. I'm gonna skip over a constructor right now, and instead I'm gonna start working on our guess itself. So we want to work with fat models at all times because it's easier to test, right? We could write unit tests for all of these modules that we have created. It wouldn't work really with or not as good when we would test the commands here in our Cox, but instead we want to be able to test our, well, specific methods, yeah? The, the logic and we can do that if we just work with classes and models and controllers. So let's put as much logic as we possibly can into the hangman model from here. So let's do this with the guess itself. And for that, all we have to do is create a new method where we supply the guess or the character, whatever you wanna call it. And in there, well, we do pretty much the same thing, but we can also make sure that our character, first of all, is always the lower version of the character. Now, then we also check for C in, so for each character in our world. Now, be careful, this is now an attribute of the hangman class, so we have to say self word, word lower. And in there, we do our checks again. 
we have our character is equals to C or C and now again self and then the guesses then we go to our progress word which again is an attribute so we say okay this is plus the character otherwise the self progress word oops plus equals and then escape the underscore dot and at the end we say self guesses append and then the character okay with that we have done this now we need to be careful because the progress word is now an instance of the hangman uh, or is, is now in the instance of the hangman object and therefore we need to make sure that we always reset that in the beginning okay otherwise it's going to append and append and append and we'll always have the previous um, placeholders etc in place already and we don't want that so we have our guess um, method done and let me just really rename really quickly rename the hm to the hm old command so that we don't lose our code and we create a new one here async dev hm with the same attributes so we say this and we simply pass here okay so the next thing is we can do all of our checks in here and as more in the in the model so let's check for the word guess right so if we get a word then we can check if the self word is equals to our word if that is true then we return true otherwise we return false and we could write this much simpler but we are gonna keep it a bit more um, readable and we do some more checks we can say check how many guesses are left right so check guesses left and for that we well we can create our help uh, ourselves another helper functions because at the end we just check for the length of the guesses but maybe we want to be a bit more well well, maybe we want to have it a bit more complex later on so let's just create another functions and see get a number of guesses left so and here we simply return for now just the length of the self guesses so we can now check here if the self get number of guesses left is above um, well above what well we could say another uh, maximum guesses right so let's let's create another attribute and call it the max guesses that we allow um, for simplicity we could also say uh, this is the length of self word or it's 10 okay so if it's we'll check guesses left if it is uh, equal or over to our self max guesses then we don't have any guesses left otherwise we return the number of guesses um, now the max guesses obviously minus the number of guesses right these ones um let's actually rename this because that makes a bit more sense then and it's not so confusing okay and now we do one more big um method and we say is game over so in there we simply define our game over as false the game is still running and because of that the user hasn't won 
So what we can check now is if the self um, guesses left is above zero, then, well, nothing would change. So let's say if it's equal to zero, then game over is true. However, that doesn't mean that the user has actually won. But instead, we can say the user has won if the check word guess returns true when we supply our progress word. So let's do that. And if we then have won, we know the game over is also true. Okay, lastly, we want to return whether the game is over or not and whether we have won. Okay, so with this we have quite a few methods available to us to play around with. So let's go back to our games pi or the games cock and we're gonna import now our hangman module model. So from hangman model import hangman. Very easy. Now what we don't need are these things anymore. However, we still refer back to them. So I'm gonna keep them in for a little bit longer. But instead we also want to make sure that well several users can play at the same time independently on their own games. So for that I'm going to create a hangman well games object and the idea is to save each game of hangman for each user because don't forget in the context we can also actually access the author and the author has a user ID. So we can say this is our player ID. Now with the player ID we can now check if this is already present in our hangman games. So I simply check the player ID in the keys of our hangman games. If that is the case we can set our current game to the hangman games and then the player ID. Now if the game is not present in the existing hangman games then we say okay we're gonna create a new game of hangman and we're gonna set the word to well we could use a random word right now but we keep it simple and also say discord again here and lastly we add the game to our player id so For those of you who have already checked it, this obviously has some faults in it and it's not going to work perfectly. But we're going to take care of those things in the other episode. We have to improve step by step and challenge uh, the problems here one at a time. Okay, now the first thing that we checked here was to see if the game is actually over. So. Now that we have the current game, we can use our method is game over. And we do get back if the game is over and the user has won. So now we can work with this and simply say if the game is over, then well we we have our game over message. Yeah, let's say you um, you did not win. Yeah, let's say this is our default and if the user has actually won then the game over message is actually well congratulations congrats you won okay and lastly we also want to append the word that the um, user had to guess so we say our final game over message now yeah. is equals to the game over message plus uh, the word was and then apply some order and simply put 
Bitcoin game word in there. Okay. So far, so good. Now, lastly, we have to send it out. So I'm quickly going to copy this and simply provide our game over message in here. And we return. Let me make this bigger. In fact, we can close the model for now. And we have a good overview. So the next thing is the game is not over. Now, if the game is not over, well, we have to guess our character. But before we do that, let's take care of the stuff that we do down here because we want to show the progress and we want to show the user guesses and then we want to send out the two messages where we show the progress and the guesses so far. We can actually copy this and put this in here. Now, we do have the user guesses in our current game. So let's say current game and we can access the guesses. So this makes these two lines working and we can also change the progress game, uh, the progress word quickly by saying current game and then the progress word. Okay. Now, the next thing is the actual guess. And with that, if you remember, we had our guess method. So let's call this and we supply our guess. Okay, so what happens? In the guess method, we, whoops, not the RPS, but the hangman. So if we look at our model and we go back to our guess method, we see it checks and puts everything into our guesses. However, we are not taking care whether the word is actually the same. Now, what we could do is we could, well, start implementing that either after this, or we could implement that in here in our method. But eventually, what we also see is that we call our guess very late, and the user wouldn't actually know if they have won or not. We're not really telling that in this case, because the game is still running, but after this guess, the game might be over. So everything that we have done here, we would need to do in here again. Okay, that's a bit of a dilemma, because first of all, we don't want to copy paste code. And now we start introducing a lot more logic again into our hangman command here right with the with the check of the instance for the game where there are still problems actually because this we have to call it pretty late and we don't really want all of this so if you remembered for the rps we also had a controller and that's what we're going to work on next